All right, guys. I'm looking. I'm looking to the right because I actually have a new camera set up. So hopefully the quality is better. Hopefully you can hear me better because I've got a microphone. So hi. That's why I'm looking to the right because now my screen, my view screen, is to the right instead of above. So sometimes you'll see me looking up because I'm making sure I'm in the frame slash looking at myself. Here is small boy. He's very tired. I am about to make, look at that autofocus. Damn, mommy. Yeah, I like that. I'm making lunch. I've made rice so far. And I'm also making Patch's food, which is rice and beef mints and stuff. He just wants to sleep and he just wants to sleep in my arms. So cooking with one hand, vlogging with this setup. All right, I'll show you what I eat. I need to do a full day of eating. Like, honestly, imagine trying to get anything done with this. It's impossible. Ew. Kind of cute though. <laughs> this is Patch's meal prep. So I cut him tiny little vegetables into cubes. And then I give him rice and beef mints or kangaroo mints, pretty much whatever I'm happy having but without any like additives, sauces, seasonings, oils, etc. Okay, we have a new tripod so that I'm actually in the shot. We are going to make a little snack now. Um, I'm going to, my protein has gone up actually this week by 10 grams. Um, so I'm going to have to have my egg whites. Have to, I'll have to if I have to. Actually, to be honest guys, I'm like a bit seebs with eating. I know, who am I? I never thought this would be the day. But I'm like, oh, I've got so much to do. I just like, I can't be bothered eating. I'm like, should I just skip this meal and just have dinner and have like a bigger dinner? I don't know if my, if I've like down-regulated and I'm able to sort of eat less 
more comfortably now, but I'm just really busy at the moment and eating is just a bit of a chore. So anyway, I'm just gonna make the snack because I mean, it's a great snack. I'm going to have egg whites. Usually I make them in the pan. As you guys know, it's like an OG recipe of mine. I'll put egg whites in the pan and flip it like a pancake, but dad has no nonstick pans. So I'm just putting them in a bowl and microwave them because I'm that lazy. You know how everyone has like weird puppy or weird dog voices they do with their dogs? I haven't got one yet. I did with my old ones, but I do have a voice. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I do have like my sister and I have voices for like if the pets could talk, what their voices would be like. And it's I'm like, should I do it? I feel like everyone has this. Like, I feel like I'm going to try and do it and not laugh. Okay, Patch, what do you, <laughs> what do you think? Should we have, should we have a snack? Yes, mum, I would love to have a snack. <laughs> Do you reckon that's his voice? <laughs> Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Thumbs down. Okay, let's just eat food now. <laughs> Just about to make dinner and I'm going to prep. Dad's like, are you talking to me? I'm going to prep extra for lunch tomorrow just because it's a busy day. So I'm gonna have charisma potatoes. I actually don't have enough for the amount that I want. So I'll just have more rice or something tomorrow. And I'm going to marinate my chicken in some oil and some Chinese five spice. Cause that was all I could find that was best before 2008. Okay, there goes that plan. This ginger is best before 2010. That's fine. 12 years! <laughs> Hey guys, just finished a live workout for Instagram and lockdown has ended here in Vic, so I'm gonna head to the gym, which you'd think I'd be more hyped for it, but considering I've already worked out, I'm like, oh, another one. I just have a really busy week, so I'm sort of like stressed. Um, but I thought this was worth noting and weird. I seem to have lost my appetite a bit what the hell it's literally like i feel like i've done a complete flip 180 on how i usually am i don't know it's just like <laughs> i'm eating my lunch which is leftovers from last night's dinner and i don't think i can eat it all like i'm not i think it's in, honestly just feeling stressed about how much work i've got to do and how much time i have <laughs> to do it in 
yeah i just don't i'm not really hungry hopefully it's temporary because i don't want to just be like not eating enough i don't want to under eat my calories because if i need i mean we won't be taking calories out but i just don't want to be doing that to my body and my metabolism so i'm literally just going to like force feed myself to eat really happy about it i know i shouldn't be complaining like i'm so lucky to have access to food this food will not go to waste like it will go back in the fridge to be eaten at a later date. By the way, today is Wednesday, so that you know where we're at in the week. Getting in my car, going to the gym. All right, I've just got to the gym and sorry for the shade, can't see me. And it looks like everyone's wearing masks. So I have not done my research on whether we need to be masking up, but literally every single person, one, two, and the three I saw before are wearing masks. So I have my mask. So this is gonna be my first training session in a mask, which is gonna be interesting, but you know what? Just happy to be here. Let's go squat. All right, so apparently you just have to wear masks into the first bit and then you don't have to wear them training, which is why I wasn't training with my mask on. So that session, I just made sure to take it light and chill. I've got an injury from going too hard after the two months off. It was only two weeks off, so it's, you know, not too, don't have to be too cautious, but still being cautious. Did my rehab and the workouts done. But the whole time I was just like, I hope Patch is okay. I've been gone for so long. So I'm just, I'm just want to get back and see him, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay. Bye bye. Hey guys, it is time for a weekly recap of how the diet's been for the last week. So I I've shown you my weekly vlog. I've shown you what I eat in a day on the lower calorie day, the 1440 calories. And I need to do a 1681. I might do that next week. I actually didn't end up having my high day. I'm just checking my camera. I'm like, please don't be battery dying. So I didn't end up having my high day because the day was just so busy and I find it really hard to get all of my food in when I'm like out and about, obviously, because I like don't take prep with me and... It was just one of those days. And then today was the same. I was like, oh, I'll just have my high day today. It's like, who am I not having a high day? So weird. Okay, so I was expecting to see drops because this week things were, like at the start of the week, things were coming down. Patch is at my door crying. I literally can't like hold him whilst I'm wearing this jumper because it's like a knit. And um, obviously it's an expensive jumper and I don't want him to be pulling threads. Yes, it was, you know, I started out and then I had a big drop. I'm just looking at my spreadsheet. What's that? Six, seven. I had an 800 gram drop from Monday to Tuesday. I maintained that the same. I dropped 100 grams. I went up 100 grams. I went up 400 grams. I went up 100 grams. So it's sort of trending upwards towards the back end of the week, despite being totally adherent to my diet, despite not having the higher calorie day, my drop, my weekly change from this week to last week is 700 grams. So 771 grams, so almost 800 grams, which is still a really good drop in a week. It's just frustrating that it was coming down and then went back up, but I'm partly glad that it happened just so I can show you guys that even though I'm being 100% compliant to my calories, and my steps and my training, you can still see these fluctuations on the scale. So I'll be taking my photos tomorrow and comparing them to last week and seeing how that's gone. You know, it's it's been a huge change this week for me. Like I got a puppy, usually they don't sleep. For some reason, Patch is like wonder child and he sleeps through the night. So sleep hasn't been affected, but I have gone back to the gym. So returning to the gym, I've also still been doing live workouts. So I'm adding, you know, I've got a lot of volume it's higher stress on the body and when you've got stress in your life like lifestyle change changing houses being behind with work recovering from being sick having a puppy live workouts and gym training that's going to be a stress on the body so i'm sort of chalking that up to being a stress response and my body retaining water because when i have looked in the mirror it's looked a bit more watery than usual. People always ask how you tell the difference between like when your body looks watery and not. And I really wish I could articulate it 
but it's just something from years of analyzing my body, which doesn't sound super healthy, but years of just being really familiar with my body and seeing what it looks like when it's like hard or even when I have body fat, like obviously I always have body fat, but even though I've got more body fat on me, I can tell the difference between when it's watery and when it's just normal. So I think the higher stress is reflecting on the scale. Um, it's not bad. Like it hasn't been a bad week in terms of like the results, just the fact that it's fluctuated within 500 grams is interesting. Um, but overall it's still coming down. It's, it's still dropping. So it's nothing to be concerned about. This is just what happens. It's week three, things can slow down a bit. And then you have this sort of whoosh effect it's called where you have some really good sleep. So you get on top of your stress management and you just see this drop on the scale because the deficit's been working in the background, but it's just been masked on the scale by water and fluctuations in water. Where am I in my scale? I think uh, my scale, my cycle, I'm coming up to ovulation, which can also play with some fluctuations with weight. But in terms of sleep, like I've marked, you know, my quality of sleep out of 10 has been on average 6.75 compared to the previous week, 7.21. So sleep quality has gone down. Sleep duration has gone down. The previous week was 8.36 and this week's been 7.58 hours. My calorie adherence has been fine. My steps have been fine. There's one day I was under my 12 to 13,000. I was on 11,000. So barely I've got all my sessions in. The only thing, the only other thing is I've been really bad with my water intake. So drinking water, it's like a, it's a positive feedback loop. So the more you drink, the more you flush out. So it can help with um, if you're feeling like you're retaining water and just sort of flushing that out of the system. I'm still not really noticing huge visible differences. Like I'm wearing jeans today and I think they feel a bit looser, but it's hard to tell. Mood wise, my mood has been a little bit affected this week. Like I think I'm just a bit more irritable, but I'm not sure if that's relating to the diet or the fact that my whole sort of routine is now being change, not my whole routine. That's so dramatic, but a lot of my routine is being changed. I'm very much like I'm in routine. I'm in autopilot. These are the things I've got to do and I'm just doing them and I get them done. So I really am just getting this inkling with all the things I've presented you guys with. So what's going on in the scale, the sort of lack of hunger, the little bit of irritation, the sleep quality down. It's kind of indicating to me that I should eat a bit more food actually. So I really should take the higher -er day. So if I don't take that today, which I'm not going to, cause it's 5.30 and I don't want to be backloading a whole bunch of calories at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just, I'm feeling fine. Like my hunger levels are okay. My energy in the gym's fine. I had a lighter week this week just because coming back after lockdown, I'm sleeping pretty well. Like, yeah, I'm not really feeling the, the effects of the deficit at this point. Just a bit of like stress, like normal life stress with relocating and work being really crazy and me trying to manage and balance everything like a crazy woman, which is why I'm working on a Sunday. <laughs> anyway, there's not going to be any changes next week. You know, I'm not going to see this, this weight. It's not a plateau because it's so funny that like I've still dropped like almost 800 grams this week, which is within the range, the 0 0.5 to 1 kilo range. I want to see it's at the upper end of that. But because I was seeing it come down really quick, you just need your expectations to sort of catch up with you. Because when you have big drops initially, you start to expect that and you cannot expect to see that because then it goes from being fat loss to weight loss, which could be muscle. And if you're losing that rapidly, it's not really a good sign. So this is to be expected. I just obviously the increase, like the fact that it kind of went like that is just frustrating. Like I'm just going to call it people get hung up on the scales um, and you, you expect it to go down. When you see it go up, you do get a bit frustrated, but it's honestly just motivated me to like go even not harder. Like I literally couldn't go harder cause I'm being hundred percent compliant, but it just inspires me and encourages me to like be like, cool. I really, I want to see my body respond. I'm just going to keep doing the things I need to do. Usually I'd get into this headspace and be like, oh, it's not working. I'm just, I'm just going to eat whatever I want because it's not working. What's the point in like this being really hard? Whereas now I'm like, no, this is, you know, this is part of it. I'm just going to keep 
sticking like the only way to get through it is continue to stick to the, the plan and that's what I'm doing so that was a long ramble anyway <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this week's diet series YouTube catch up I'll be back again next week with another weekly vlog maybe a full day of eating and an update and hopefully we've broken through this non plateau because it is not a plateau when people come to me and they say I'm in a plateau I'm like are you really or are you just being impatient and I just need to have a words with myself about that because I am just being like come on we were going so like so fast I want to keep seeing that but it's working so all right guys if you're enjoying this let me know in the comments I'm really loving chatting to you guys in the comments and hearing how your diets are going because I know a lot of you are dieting sort of with me and using this as motivation I've stopped doing daily vlogs on IG I'm just doing them on TikTok now so jump over there if you want more sort of motivation to keep you going through it yeah give us a like give us a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber you'll get notified when I come out with videos each week and we will chat again very soon. Mwah. Thanks, guys.